Hello everyone, welcome back, here's Van Amsen and today we are diving into a medium level problem that will test our algorithmic skill. So let's get uh, our code on. Today we are going to tackle a problem called power xn, where we will implement a function that calculate x raised to the power of n. It sounds straightforward, right? But wait, till you see the constraints we need to handle. So this problem is a fantastic demonstration of the power of binary exponential. So uh, before we start, let's take a look at the problem description and the constraints. So the base x can be any float between minus 100 and 100, and n can be any integer between minus two to the power of 31 up to two to the power of 31 minus one. So, and uh, interestingly, we are told that either x is non-zero or n is greater than zero. So let's start coding now, and we will create a class uh, implementation in our class solution and method called uh, my power uh, inside it. So uh, this function takes two parameter x and n, and now let's handle the case where n is negative. Uh, if it is, we convert it to positive and take the receptor of x. And this is because x to the power of negative n is the same as one divided by x to the power of n. So uh, let's implement it. If n less than zero, x will be one divided by x and n will be minus n and result will be one and current product will be x and while while n greater than zero if n modulo to one result equals result times current product and current product equals current product times current product and n will be divided by two without remainder and return result. So what we did, uh, we initialized two variables, result to one and current power to x. And we iteratively calculate the power using these variables. So uh, here come the magic of binary exponentiation. So we enter a while loop where we keep dividing n by two and squaring the current product. So if at any point n is odd, we multiply the result by current product. And we continue this until n becomes zero. And uh, that's it. We return the result, which is uh, x raised to the power of n. So uh, let's run our implementation and see if it works. So x uh, to the power of n given 10 is 1024. So all good. And with more tricky cases, so for example, two to the power of minus two should be 0 0.25. And we have uh, correctly calculated. So it's two to the power of minus two and it's one and a half to the power of two and it's one four and 0 0.25. So let's submit it for unsynthesis cases as well and see how our code is done. So it's my first run of this particular and yeah, we have successfully completed 56 day of daily challenges and our implementation beat 75% of runtime. So it's really good. And also 97% with respect to memory. So yeah, hopefully it's quite memory efficient and awesome. Our code is working perfectly. And the beauty of this solution is that it runs in uh, about all uh, log n uh, time complexity, but 
but uh, much better than the naive just uh, on uh, linear solution so uh, there you have it a binary exponential uh, in exponentiation uh, in action and uh, it's a neat tricky to have it in your coding tools and remember it's not always about solving the problem but uh, how efficiently you solve it uh, that matters so if you enjoyed this coding session don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more uh, fun coding challenges and this one's Van Amsen. happy coding keep practicing stay motivated and see you next time